Is this a nice view? Just on a nice bench. I wish Mario could sit down though, but he can't. Hey, oh, you can't. Back to Baby Mario, he's touching your door. Sitting is a 3D action. This yeah. is a 2D game. Yeah. There we go. That counts kind of sitting. <laughs> I think it's writing. Oh. <laughs> and then expect to hit the save block. Okay. All right. Oh. Hold on. Oh, he's coming out with an email. email. Ooh. We Ooh. still have the mail. Your... Are you Mario? Did you? Did this email? Did you get the? Email? Look, he kind of freaks me out. If you're not Mario, please destroy this email, okay? But if you are, thanks for saving me and my captured friends. I figured I'd share my hot tip with my hot tip with you, so thanks. So here it is. There's lots of treasures and creepy people. Oh, there's still lots of treasures in there. Damn, hmm. I'm gonna have to go back at some point. There'll probably be a quest for me to go over there for some soup. Yeah. Oh, of course, not you. You probably found everything. You probably already found it all. Oh, I'm so useless. Well, enjoy your not so useless useless adventure. Your creepy steeple boo. <laughs> Which one? Like uh, a billion of them. Probably the one that was like, all right, quit time, Mister. <laughs> 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 but all right, in the last one, um, yeah, we uh we do some gambling. We helped out the uh the the Bian the Don Pianta family with the mafia stuff, and we gambled a lot. So now we're, we're racing to Hodgley Heights. Yeah. Uh, Beldum knows where the Crystal Star is. Alright. This toad looks cool. Look at the color scheme. Black and blue always looks cool. Especially with bruises. This train is bound for a luxurious Hodgley Heights. Will you be boarding today? No, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I just didn't look at the train like that weirdo. Wonderful. <laughs> If you don't mind, who's allowed me to check your ticket? Watch your step, please. All aboard! Come on, Yoshi. Wow, this is one of the 4,000 tickets that Don Pianta has. All aboard! Yeah, it's like his little stamp in the corner. It's like, if you do not let them on, I will kill you and your family. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the music! Nice! Chapter 6 Three days Why does this coin have four sides? Excess! You keep bringing it up whenever the coin comes up. It stresses me out. Mario's room. Oh yeah, the X6 Express! This is so deluxe, man! The three days the Parsley Heights are gonna be over like that! Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh, huh? Hey, do you see that? Something's on the floor! When did that get there? Oh, I know what I see? I see a shine sprite in the corner, do you see it? Yeah. Don't go to Parsley Heights! Get off the train now or a sticky yummy doom awaits you! Whoa! What a freaky friend! What do you think this could be? Belda's work, do you? Whoever this psycho is, you you gotta figure out that you're on this train, right? We gotta get this nut before anything bad goes down on this train. Yeah, who the fuck threatens Mario like that? Anyway. Nice break. Anyway. Is there anything else in this room? There's a dragon mush oh Yay! No, I'm good. <laughs> Just to it. Yeah. What am I gonna do with that? What are all these rooms? Alright, time to go intrude on other people's rooms. Yeah. Oh, this room's empty. Maybe I didn't get sold out then. Are there any teenagers oh making out these corners? What in God's green earth are you? <laughs> Hey, hello there. You know, I'm used to dreaming of one day getting to ride this train. And now I finally got a ticket. Dreams can come true. Okay. He looks like he's about to eat the train. <laughs> oh my god. 
What's over here? I'm assuming rooms two and one, since we're kind of going backwards. These are probably, like, the rich people up here. Oh my god, did you just do that? <laughs> the game glitched. <laughs> Look at this lady. Well, hello, thank you, Ducking. The Don, but whatever dish of a man, you. You're matching, dear. Look at this, a witch. Plus, people have certainly said that I'm possessed of an enchanting aura. First person to remark so boldly on my bewitching beauty, dear. What's in your drawers? There's a mountain of cosmetics inside. I'm sure. That I would not doubt. What is it in this one? Oh, you want to be this dude? <laughs> no, sure. Hey, guy. Yeah, you know this, but I'm the absurdly famous movie star, Zip Toad. I'm gonna shoot this little multi billion dollar art flick in Poshley Heights, yo. Oh, and uh. I only sign autographs for cute chicks. Sorry about that, guy. Fuck you. What's in here? There are several poster cards and goss lines featuring zip toe inside. Man, what a narcissist. <laughs> Wait, do you think if you have Goombella out, he'll give you an autograph? <gasps> Let's try it. Actually, would she be like, oh my god, it's zip toe? Oh my god, do you. S okay. Okay. No, okay. Hold on. What is. What I knew I knew him. That's it. Oh wait, uh, her voice is a little bit higher. Hang and on, Megan. Zip Toad, the movie star. Women go nuts for him. You know he's hot and all, but he seems pretty stuck up about being famous. Yes. I guess all celebrities are kind of like the fucking douchebags. It's too bad because I kind of liked him. Too bad. Who haven't we had out in a while? Let's put Vivian. I love Vivian. We haven't really used her that much. I'm sorry, girl. Are we not gonna go on that one card? Well, I, was, I think we explore. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this toad. Greetings. Welcome to the X Express. What I'm doing is called what I'm what is called a train engineer. Our opulent journey to Poshley Heights will take approximately three days. And how do you find your accommodations? Are they not incredibly splendid? Our flourish delight, delight the eye, but the sway of the locomotive delights all wise. So let's hear it for the X Express. Huzzah! Huzzah! I got weird. <laughs> I wanna, can, can we just like leave? Damn it. Just leave and game over. I'm out of here. You just see our like paper bodies fly in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> you open it up and it's like when someone would open up a door on an airplane, everyone just gets sucked out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at her! She's so pretty. Welcome, 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 welcome. Oh, welcome. Yeah. This is the dining car where you eat and stuff. Wow, I was gonna voice her, but okay. Some people take this train just so they can eat our yummily fabulous food. And this trip, we have a super famous actor on board. Zip Toad, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm totally swooning. I so hope he comes here to eat soon. You wanna voice this dude? I feel like you would have a blast. Hello, I'm Chef Shimmy, the culinary expert. Glad to make your complaints. Uh, I mean, acquaintance. So sorry. Cheap cheap is my first language, you know. Today's lunch is so amazing, it'll make your tongue cry out in shame. Please do taste it so that my passion does not wither alone in a pot of loneliness. Let's go. What's in the shop? Oh, there's boo sheets in here. Boo sheets are so good. Oh, they look like a little bow tie. I'm the family. Welcome to the sales stall. We have lots of souvenirs. Uh, I feel like we need to store some of our items that we have for full. Let's throw away this. And then... Throw away the live stream. And then... Yeah, let's put away this. That should be fine. Nothing else, please. Thank you. 
Lovely place. Can I slam my ass on the floor? Give me something around here. Can't she whip out Miss Mouse and have her sniff? Will she be able to sniff out sh like star pieces? Well, let's see. There's treasure nearby. All right. No. All right. Oh, no, we haven't had Miss Mouse out in a while. Let's have her out. We we got her as a partner, then we haven't used her yet. Yeah. Ooh, is it this one? Oh, this is it. This is the guy I want you to voice really bad. Detective. I am, on, I am on my way back home. I have strayed so long. I have forgotten what it looks like. Huh, I guess so. <laughs> What's in this one? Oh, look at this guy. Me? I have a very important deal to attend once I arrive in Hotchery Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes on the expense account. Yes. That's actually so smart. That's what I should do. <laughs> if I ever have to do work for my company or whatnot, like, drive, like, go places, I just run everything. Oh, wait, th these people were in Glizzyville. Wait, she's stuck in the air. Oh, there's a treasure! I hid in this room. Is it like I gotta slam my ass on the floor? Is it in the drawer? Is it, yeah, is it, wait, hold on. Oh okay. my god, look at it, yeah, they were in Glizzyville. Hey, I'm Bob, and we're going to get a birthday present for me. It'll be cool. Aren't you jealous? Yes. We are on route for Toshley Heights to buy a birthday present for my little bug here. Oh, 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 my, my, my. Oh, you are the champion of the Glitz Pit, are you not? Yes, the Great Gonzalez. Bound for Poshley Heights? Well, it is certainly a fitting place for a celebrity like you. Bro, I'm Mario. Other reasons to be famous. Is that... Is that don't weird? care, didn't ask. Plus your white. I think he's Italian. Hello to you, welcome for boarding the Antic Express. I'm the conductor of this train. And I'm dressed to be Mr. Mario on room 5. Make yourself at home, sir. What is that? Come sort of sicky yummy threat. Uh, I see. Good gracious me. If I hear anything else about this, I'll let you know immediately. Oh, thank you. At least we, we lured the local authority toads. We've done our job. A sticky, yummy threat. Oh, yeah, that was from me. <laughs> Wait, I hear commotion. Oh, there is commotion going on. Oh, no, I zip- Oh, that's you. Oh, no, and zip toad is here and everything. No, my life is totally ruined. This guy? Uh, no, my heart cries out in the salty pain of misery. That was my master beast. I mean, my Mr. Beast. <laughs> and now it is gone, and I am left with tears of horror in my eyes. Are you gonna this? Okay. Hmm, yes. I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? That is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes. The case of the pot of summer stew that vanished just suddenly and mysteriously. Oh, rolls off the tongue. <laughs> Indeed, that will do nicely. <laughs> My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery, one that impacts you all. What a mystery! A mystery you just said? And, uh, uh, uh what kind of dish is that? I am known as Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I am a detective. Really? At the risk of immodesty, you mu you might say I have a certain nose for these things. And this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. Ooh. The central clue of this case, and also the most vital one, as it happens, is that our perpetrator took the whole pot, stew and all, and this, esteemed friends, leads me to believe that the one responsible 
<gasps> is you, you gluttonous whore, I mean woman. <laughs> the fuck did you say to me, you little shit? <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to voice this lady? No, I got it. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. It's Are so, you like, totally funny. cuckoo? I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Mm, pardon me. Sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear whore. I mean, woman. I felt I needed to practice my accusation skills. You understand. Yes, sorry. <laughs> oh, she pissed at him. Ahem. <clears throat> Very good. Now, let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Mmm, yes. Let me get this straight. So, what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And, uh, I guess that's about it, right? Oh, this scene is for total squares. Forget you guys. I'm going back to my room. Huh? You there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You, sir, are... Highly suspicious. I have just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zipto, the actor. Dun dun dun. Z Zipto, the Zipto. No <laughs> way, Mr. Detective Person. You're just making stuff up. You, you Tweety geezer. <gasps> Tweety geezer, geezer. Why, I oughta. <laughs> I can't say I deserved such a verbal threshing, but, well, then who did do it, hmm? Mm -hmm. This puzzle deepens with every confounding step. Oh, you see that? See what? A clue. There are traces of something on the carpet. Oh, hang on. This looks like spilling stew on the carpet. How oh, marvelous! We can just follow the trips to the thief. It might even be the same person who wrote the sticky, yummy threat theory. What makes me say that? It takes a thief to know to find a thief, sweetie. Hey, look at it. You see little strips on the floor. Yeah. It's been a while since I voiced Miss Mouse because she, I mean she's our partner. Oh, look, some more. Dan, oh, right here. Oh my horse! You fucking fatty. Whoa, what do you want? Burp. Sorry about that. Now, what were you saying? A pot in the kitchen? Oh, I get it. If food gets stolen, you blame the chubby guy. Not nice. What? You dropped a stew on the floor outside. Uh, no, that when I don't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in that drawer, so don't look. You won't find anything. There's several gourmet food magazines in here, and one of them is issued to the vote for the food for the Execute Press. There's a large photo of Shek Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. There's something underneath the magazines! How do you fit this whole pot in the drawer? <laughs> An empty stew pot. The thing looked like it was <laughs> licked clean. <laughs> you licked the freaking pot. Yeah, you know like that when we made cookies, like you lick the batter and we feel like like you eat the little bit of the batter off the spoon, but this man licked the the pot. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I ate it all. It was me. So you were so enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal it to devour more. And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots? <laughs> Answer! Yes, yes, that's right. I'm sorry, but I free moment of being a stupid, stupid, stupid. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this a terrible crime never recur. Yes, what a terrible crime. And you, my dear sir, I'm going to kill you. I mean, yes, you with the unkempt facial hair. My keen sleuthing inst instincts identified you as the correct person to color this ruffian. Now, about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. Alright. We cannot speak here. Find me in room 6 so that we may discuss this in private. Alright, room 6. 
Oh, and please return the pot to the chef if you could. Absolutely, Fatty. I will. <laughs> what if like, what if he was like calling, the, calling like, uh, or like saying like, Fatty at the end of every of his sentences, and Mario was like, "That's not cool to call him that," and he was like, "No, I was referring to you, Mario." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, give him back his pot. So you found the beef, or wait, I mean the thief. I am joyful. There you go. Ah, oh, sir, you are the hero of my world. You have even brought my pot. It is empty, of course, but it is mine, and I love it. Thanks to you from me. Here is just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please take it. Oh, take it? Yeah. Is that what you said? Ah, uh, why must I butcher this language so, so shameful? Please take it, I mean. Yay! I read his wrong pronunciation wrong. I cannot believe this. Alright, room six. Oh. Yep. The colors that- wait, hold on. I wanna know if you see this whenever we go into a room. It didn't do it at the time, but sometimes it will change the color of the flooring or the sometimes the, the different color of the wall. Anyway, I'll pull it up later. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you with my hammer. Aha! Uh -huh. I have been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy malcontent. Oh, shit. I have deduced this from the lack of any incriminating clues in his room. Wow, you searched his room without consent? You don't need a warrant for that? In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it is decided then, I shall take you on as my new assistant. Oh, sweet, thanks. To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I am a detective from Poshley Heights. I am known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. I mean, peanut, I mean, brain. <laughs> Head. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I am sure you have heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. And as for your name, wait. I demand you do not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. That mustache, that nose. Ho ho ho, all too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi. Are you not? Damn. No. Big M. No need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. No, about this threat. Our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion. That family of bomb ups, they are definitely suspect. That's kind of racist. Yeah. Now, Luigi, we will reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. Man, Mark always getting a new identity every chapter. Yeah. Oh, what is it now? Oh! <gasps> It's evening! Are they in this one? Yeah, they are. Just gonna be like... No, dear, we must sing about what, what's going on. I think we should get a little Bob the Avengers classic series of Bob Bobbery. Two words. Cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house? He's fine! But Bob is too small for such things, go Bob! Stop thinking of your own social status! He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him, honestly! I don't want to that stuff they're talking about. What's that, buddy? Hey, mister. Are you, you're a detective now that you quit being a champion? Well, so, you think you can de detect what I really want for my birthday? Yeah, I can do this. I'm a pro dog. Really? Cool. Okay, uh, if you bring me what I want, then I'll give you something in return. Okay, what's the clues, buddy? Okay, then. Here's a hint. It starts with an A. Got it? Okay. Okay, here's your second hint. It's a certain person's autograph. Now you got it, don't you? Okay. And, okay, oh. I wonder who the autograph is from. 
Zip tone? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, he's not the detective. I mean, we could ask. Be like, does this kid want your autograph, dog? Uh, oh yeah. Like, is, re is, is your screen yellow? Huh? It's evening. Oh. I was, <laughs> like, why, I, was like, I was like, why is it yellow? Yeah, it's evening now. It changed the, the day. Uh, I didn't even recognize I was like, is this a different penguin? <laughs> 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 the thing that young Master Bub wants most? Well, let us deduce, shall we? Why? It is rudimentary. He wants a Game Boy Advance, my dear Luigi. Because that, my friend, is what young children his age crave above all things. I don't think it's that, dog. Well, he did say he starts with an egg, but it's someone's autograph that starts with an A. Or is it just autograph from Zip Toad? Like, is it called something like that? You can try Zip Toad. What are five year old boys into? Because I feel like. Math. like not, did you say meth? <laughs> no. Why would anyone say something that silly? I feel like Zipto is more for girls, to be completely honest. What the little. Oh, yeah, that's you. Sorry. What does that little bub kid want as a present? Uh. Well, I'm sure you'd be stoked to have an autograph of mine, right, guy? Oh, man, don't they all? I can't do it, unfortunately. I only sign for chicks. Man, fuck you. Wait, you know what? Don't, like... Trains. Trains. Riding this train during sunset is the high point of every day for me. Let's hear it for the XX Express! Huzzah! Huzzah! Huh. I thought he wanted a thing for the train. Okay. I don't want to deduct. I don't want to do things. What is in this room? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm rugged smart. If she can help me. Oh shit! Yeah. What's up? Oh, you're absolutely lovely. Sorry, I skipped your dialogue. Now yeah, listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere in this very train. Could you please hastily search along for me? You bold, brilliant man, you. Yeah, I'll find your gold ring. All right, we gotta keep an eye out for a gold ring now. Who is in this room? Oh, it's the dude. They're be causing a commotion. And man, that's simply scrum diddly umptious. I can't wait for dinner. Man, you fat fuck! <laughs> Sorry, I should be mean to him. Okay, there's no one in this room. That's our room. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry. There's you. Uh, wait, is this me? It's the girl. <laughs> I I voiced the the purple girl. That is the purple girl. Oh, and I, I swear this yellow freaking thing. I thought this was someone completely different. You so totally bagged that chubby guy in record time. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills. Could you help me? Yeah. What's up? Really? Star. 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 Wow, okay, so I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. And they're like, all full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Okay. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? Yeah, I can do that. So, we have a gold, e gold ring, earrings. <laughs> yes, about this thief. I am actually pleased that he craved my stew enough to steal my entire pot. My heart is filled with no anger, but rather the warm broth of satisfaction. That's nice. Who went? Wait, there's one person we haven't talked to. It's the, um... Actually, who's in number seven? Oh, the rat guy. 
Oh, yeah. looking forward to spotting in that zoo on the ex expense account. Oh well, yeah. I just ordered the next the next most expensive thing on the dinner menu. Based. Nice. Good job, Mr. Mr. Mouse. Give me this camera. I can hear everything. I'm oh, sorry. Oh. Wait, was it you or was it me? It was me. <laughs> My bad. I can hear everything that family's funny about loud and clear from out here. One thing I heard was cute. That boy is dreaming of the- Oh, he's dreaming to be a train engineer! What an interesting Aww. dream for a rich little kid like that. Hmm. Perhaps that young bug child just wants something from someone he admires. Whatever it is, he must- We must find it. That yummy sticky danger is out there. He probably wants it from the train director. No, that's sweet. Let's go. Wait, you know what? We're walking a lot. Give me the Yoshi. I can't believe you got confused by the fucking lighting of this air. Dude, it's it's like well, okay, so I'm on my phone, right, watching this, and it's and it's like really yellow. It's like piss yellow. No, it's piss green. <laughs> Hello. You want my autograph, sir? Oh, it's for little Bubba. Well, of course. There you go, sir. Aww. That's so cute. Gosh, I never given out my autograph before. That felt fantastic. Aw, that was cute. Well, it, it's good for everyone involved. Yeah. I'm surprised that dude that's really into trains has never asked for the train to the train engineer's autograph before. Yeah. Alright. I feel like a lot of things have gone missing. Like, first the pot was stolen, but that was just a guy that was really hungry. Shell earrings have gone missing. And then a, a gold ring. ring. Yeah. I wonder what else is gonna go missing. Alright, bub. Don't worry, dog, I got it. So did you bring me the thing I wanted most? There you go, bud. Looks like it says cam on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey! Yeah, bingo, mister! That's exactly what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. Oh, shine bright. Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it, I promise. Hey, by the way, what's a detective anyway? <laughs> Aww. Well, I think we should all uh, stick to the classic series of bobbering. We must get him something that befits the station of our family. I have my reputation to think of, Sylvia. People are weird. Uh-oh. It's nighttime now. Oh, wow. Uh. We probably should go report to the detective that, like, they, they solved their issues. I can't wait for the nighttime trope where someone gets killed on a train and this detective has to figure out who it is. Yeah. So, it was an autograph, was it, Luigi? Mmm, yes, just as I suspected. Oh, the conductor just came by looking for you, Luigi. This smells of a new mystery. Oh, the guy in the back? Or the guy in the front? I guess we'll check the back first. Mr. Mario, I'm glad we s you spoke to me. I just remember something suspicious. I found myself one blanket shore when I handed them out to the passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for, but it's hexing. I have an extra blanket cap, and that means someone came on board without a ticket. That's always just might be our suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. No. Oh. If you have a little look at the un- Call me Blanket P.I., I got you, man. Let's sleep, thanks. Yeah, I had to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for some good news. Oh, all the all the ones in here are accounted for. The the one next to us doesn't have anyone in it, so maybe someone's like in like under the bed. Hmm. 
Hmm. Number or maybe in the oh, desk. Look at that. So pretty. I, don't know, I feel like if like you were stowaway, you wouldn't let anyone really see you on on the train. So everyone out there is clear. No one's in here though. It's in here. There's something in here. Hmm. Maybe they're too scared. Hold on. Vivian. Hmm. Oh! Oh, gosh. Hi, sir. So, you found me! What did you say I'm a ghost? I'm cursed to haunt this place! A blanket? Oh, yes, the conductor didn't leave one in here. He didn't realize I was a ghost. A yummy, sticky threat. No, I left no such thing. I can't hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? I don't see why not. Always gonna do something for people. All I need is your life. No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the back car here. Inside my back is a diary I kept in my early childhood days. And my fear that someone would find it and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so could you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. Okay. Hold on. And don't you dare! My diary! Is it you two? Time to read it. Ooh, a terrible fate awaits you! Vivian, that guy was weird. <laughs> anyway, I think we're gonna wrap up the episode. Yep. I have Hopefully, fun. on the next one, we'll finish up the train. Right, well, we're still on day one of the train. Hopefully on the next one we'll finish up the train. Okay. Alright, well we gotta, we gotta find this man's diary. The, then we'll probably end day one of being on this train. I'm excited. When not. Yep. There's a lot of interesting characters. A lot of... We got new ones and old ones coming back. So... Um, who, wait, who's the old ones? Well... The, the bombs? Yeah, the bomb bombs and the, uh, the pretty lady that's in room two. She was in the, uh, uh, the yeah. glitz area. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, see? We're doing okay, great. Fair enough. Yeah. So I guess, in the next one, we we'll carry on this little train adventure. Because I love trains. Yep. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Bye-bye! Bye-bye!